Hi there, I'm Richard Ian Cox, and this is finally me getting to the video Ask Me Anything on my Tumblr. I got a list full of questions. Uh, let's get to it! You're watching this on YouTube or you're watching it on uh, Tumblr. If you're watching it on Tumblr, then go over to YouTube and check out my YouTube account. Um, I think it's still I am Pat the Moose. And if you're watching this on, on YouTube, then go to my Tumblr and check me out on my Tumblr and follow me there and, and all that kind of stuff. Or you can visit me on Twitter at richardiancox.com or on my Facebook fan page at Richard Ian Cox fan uh, on, on Facebook. Okay, so let's get straight to the questions. There are a lot of questions. Um, some of them are a little bit uh, naughty. Uh, I, I might edit some of them as I'm answering them, um, but, uh, but I'll upload the proper questions on the Tumblr and answer them on there if you <laughs> get an edited version of your question on here. Okay, fair enough, fair deal. Okay, starting out, anonymous. There's a lot of a lot a lot of questions from this person, anonymous. Uh, anonymous asked, "How does it feel having a Wikipedia uh, about yourself?" The first time I ever found out about Wikipedia, um, I fed, somebody had linked me to my Wikipedia page, and this is years and years and years ago, like nine years ago or whatever it was. Um, for the first time, I ever saw anything to do with Wikipedia, so it was um, bizarre. I mean, it's cool. Other people create it, other people maintain it. I've never done anything on it. Um, it gets edited a lot. <laughs> so people will go on and make their own random changes to it. Other people have made, you know, fun of me on it. So then I guess the uh, administrators get on and they, and they, um, <laughs> they fix it or they've locked the page before now. So, um, but yeah, so it's, it's interesting. It's interesting to see what other people think I am. <laughs> which is mostly what the Wikipedia page is. Uh, another anonymous question. Are you pretty well known in the area you live in? Uh, well, by my neighbors, and mostly because they're my neighbors. Uh, other than that, um, no, not, not necessarily. I mean, I have a certain level of notoriety, I suppose, among a certain group of people. Um, people recognize me from my on-camera stuff from time to time, but it's not like no one's, you know, freaking out every time I walk by them, thankfully. Um, Anonymous asks, do you like to scream down in the basement or use vulgar language in the basement? And when you are home alone, do you wear a white t-shirt and dance in your underwear listening and dancing to Old Time Rock and Roll by Bob Seger? No. Another Anonymous asked, do you like to wear women's underwear? No, but if you do, then knock yourself out. Um, another anonymous question. The only reason I don't post something on Tumblr is because I am way funnier in person. I mean, what do you want me to post a small video on the internet of me crying? And that, I don't think that's a question. Never mind. Uh, Lunafa asked, what's your most embarrassing school experience? What's your most embarrassing sexual experience? What do you think of dirty questions on Tumblr? And what would your wife say if Keira Knightley would ever have a romantic date with you? Um, I don't know if I've ever had like most embarrassing school experience. I don't have a lot of embarrassing experiences, mostly because uh, it takes a lot to get me embarrassed. I guess I sort of try to let go of the of the moment as it's happening. Um, I don't know about school experience, but and just in general life experience. I walked into a glass wall, um, and this was only a couple of years ago at my gym. They had done some renovations and they moved a door, and I wasn't looking, and, and I just walked straight into a glass wall and I left a nose and face imprint and so that was kind of embarrassing but I mean I laughed about it and made a joke in the moment and um, so so there's that uh, my most embarrassing um, uh, uh, naughty experience I don't know if I've ever had one I mean my entire history is embarrassing so, <laughs> so there you go um, dirty questions on tumblr I don't mind them at all I, I find them amusing more than anything else um, uh, I don't answer all of them. Some of them are a little bit more extreme, so I just sort of leave them alone. Uh, but for the most part, I like it. I think it's, I think it's entertaining for people. Um, but I try to stay within a certain boundary, I guess. Uh, and in terms of Keira Knightley having a romantic date, first of all, what my wife said, um, well, it would never happen. <laughs> so, so she wouldn't, I, I don't think, have much to say about it. Uh, but uh, she's very laid back. Um, and uh, and um, gets the joke, you know, and so I don't think, you know, I would never go on a romantic date with your name because I'm married to my wife. Um, 
Anonymous said, this is a statement, bet you wish you were a ballerina, I think you'd look good in a tutu, ha ha. Um, well, I don't wish I was a ballerina, but I wish, you know, I, I've long said if I could be, uh, jump into anyone's life for a day, it would be Mikhail Marishnikov when he was like, you know, at his peak as a dancer. Um, East Coast fan asked, what do you like most about being a voice actor? I like hanging out with my friends. You know, most of uh, the voice actors, in, well, all the voice actors in town are my friends, and most of my friends are voice actors, so um, I like hanging out with my friends. Um, Anonymous asked, if we had the scientific capability to fly people to any place within our solar system, where might you go? Duh, Uranus. Super 80s Demon asked, Video AMA question, any favorite lines or funny memories from voicing Kai in Mobile Suit Gundam? Um, I can't think of any favorite lines. I kind of liked, you know, what kind of a wiener he was through most of the thing up until the point where he, you know, becomes kind of a hero. Um, so I don't, I can't remember any. Uh, and in terms of, uh, in terms of the fun mem funny memories, we record everything on our own. So um, there's nothing that sticks out, per se. I mean, I love doing it, so there's that, but there's nothing specific that sticks out, I'm afraid. Lacey Jean, 2014, uh, sorry, yeah, 2014 asked, uh, do you find that your stuff goes missing having kids? I swear I can never find my stuff and her stuff as well. Yeah, everything goes missing in my house. Everybody takes it um, and <laughs> puts it places and I don't know where it is. People have either taken it because they legitimately want to borrow it or the younger ones have taken it and hidden it because they think it's funny, or people wander off with stuff and they forget where they've left it, and I find it, you know, months later. Uh, Anonymous asks, would you say that being a parent of four kids makes you have any less of a sex drive? Hope this isn't a weird question. I actually want to know because I'm a parent myself. I don't necessarily know that it affects your drive. It affects your time. So you don't, even if you were to have the drive, then you wouldn't have the time, per se. Um, but uh, I think it affects everybody differently, right? But yeah, but so, yeah. does that make sense? <laughs> so, yeah, because you can still have, you know, your thoughts. Yeah, that will be, so, and it's, it's a whole other kind of world. Um, Anonymous asked, how much money do you make as an actor? Cabillions. That's, that's why I'm recording this on an iPhone. <laughs> Um, everybody makes a different amount. You know, you have good years, you have bad years. Uh, the honest answer to the question is, you know, a lot of people can, can do very well and a lot of people can struggle for a long time. And even when you're doing really well, you can still have times when you struggle and even when you, you know, if you're struggling, you can have times when you do really well. It's really up and down. Um, to be halfway successful as an actor, I always think that you need to uh, be really good at budgeting and you need to have a mentality that you're, it's a business. That you're a business, it's a business. Um, and um, uh, that if you take that approach to it, you're, you're more likely to focus on, you know, what you need to not spend as opposed to what you need to spend, if that makes sense. So it's all different for everybody. Uh, another question from Lacey Jean, as an actor, do you have lots of free time? Are you busy most of the time? What do you even do? Um, <laughs> I have a pretty open schedule sometimes, but sometimes I get really busy and then I have no schedule. Like right now, I'm really busy, so uh, I don't have a lot of free time. But you know, I like what I do because I have the opportunity to be home with my kids and my wife, and and, and um, we can sort of tag off in terms of what needs to happen with the kids and around the house. So, so that tends to help. Um, the High Warlock of Brooklyn, it's <laughs> a wicked name, by the way. Question for the AMA video. What uh, character from any play, film, TV show, or book would be your dream character to portray, and why? These are good questions. Um, I would love to see a movie made uh, called the the book was called Death of Artemio, of Artemio Cruz by Carlos Fuente, who is a huge writer in Mexico. Um, he's not physically a large in man, he's just he's a very, very well-known author in Mexico. He wrote a brilliant book that is, uh, has a, an, an incredible narrative, um, and, uh, and I'd love to see that movie made. I don't know if I'd want to necessarily be in it, per se, uh, but I would love to produce it or have some kind of involvement in it. In terms of a character I'd love to portray, 
I don't know. I mean, it's been done, but like Jason Bourne would be pretty cool to, to knock out, right? Um, congrats on quitting smoking. Thank you. Um, Anonymous asked, how old were you and your pretty wife when you started dating? How long have you been together? Uh, I was um, 28 when we started dating. She was 20. We've been together 12 years. Um, question for the AMA. This is a question that gets asked a lot. <laughs> I'll just post the answer up on the Tumblr. <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. The answer is yes. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what everybody's obsession with it is, but there you go, yes. Um, someone said, I have sexy eyes. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, I stole them off a guy. And so they're, yeah. Anonymous asked, if you were a police officer and you saw a 21-year-old disabled adult being abused by her sister, would you take that other person to jail? Uh, yeah. I, yes. Because that would be my job. And yes, so I would certainly do that. Uh, Anonymous asks, really, how many licks does it take? I think you're talking about a Tootsie Pop, aren't you? I don't know. I've never found out. Um, <laughs> another question. Anonymous says, Okay, um, here's my question. Be honest, do you actually really like anime or do you just voice act for it? Uh, I, I like it, I don't watch a lot of it, um, but when I'm recording it or when I'm involved in it, I like it and what I see I think is really interesting. Um, I just, by the time I start to watch shows, I kind of, I want to laugh a little bit more and anime tends to be a little bit more serious stuff, like what I do. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I love what it is, and, and, but I just don't get, a, I don't get a lot of chance to watch it. Um, that's a weird noise I'm making, I don't know why. Among the Z asked, hello, I hope it's not too late to send any questions for the anime video. <laughs> no, no, it took me a while to get to it. My question is, when you found out you got the role for Inuyasha, did you try out different voices before you found one that just clicked perfectly? No, I, during the audition I did, you know, I did the, hey, the Inuyasha voice, like the cool sort of more raspy dude, um, and uh, it seemed to work out, <laughs> that doesn't sound much like him, um, but uh, that worked out in the audition, and so it wasn't really a question of, of, uh, of checking on different things. Another question is, what's the longest walk you've ever been on? Um, she went for a four hour walk, legs feel like jello. The longest walk I've ever been on was certainly, you know, multiple hours long. When I used to live in Paris, I used to go on tons of them, and I think I walked, I did a day, you know, like eight hours walking once, which was awesome. Um, another anon question. One, what's the weirdest thing a fan has ever done for you? Um, for me or to me? For me. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't. I mean, I like. I don't get. I mean, obviously, you have interactions with people where sometimes you go, "Oh, that was interesting," but uh, for the most part, I don't get a lot of that kind of stuff. I mean, maybe I, I don't look like a person who'd be terribly receptive to weird advances or whatever, but I don't get a lot of it. So obviously, I have very cool fans. So I, I don't have a lot of weird stuff coming my way. Uh, two. What is your biggest or weirdest fear? Uh, I have a fear of heights. Uh, although I've, I conquer it fairly often, I get up on roofs and stuff like that, but um, I have a definite fear of heights. Three, if in an instant you become an invisible man, where would you go and what would you do? Um, the White House. Two. Poop in a corner. <laughs> That's just awful. But sure, we'll stick with that. Four, what's the funniest experiment, uh, experience you've had in your entire life? Funny is that anything hanging out with my friends or my family or, or people that are close to me and we get to, we get to chuckling. Um, I can't think of one specific thing, but like, I mean, there have been a lot of great things. I have lines, a lot of lines in my face, and they're all laugh lines. So obviously, clearly, I'm doing something ridiculous. Five, what's the worst lie you've ever told in your whole life? Uh, were you caught out? No. <laughs> and I can't tell you, because then I would get caught out. No, I, I, I am an open book. I don't, I don't tell lies. If you instantly turned into a woman for a day, how would you spend that day? Well, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Anonymous asked, when out and about, someone says sit, does that make you laugh or what? Not generally speaking, that would be weird, right? Just walking by someone randomly says sit. Ha 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 ha! I would look like a maniac. 
Um, there you go. Anonymous asks, what's the craziest thing a fan has ever done? I think I've covered, <laughs> I've covered that. Anime video, maybe, maybe not. Ha 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 ha. No, but it is here. Look and see. Um, anonymous, by any chance, who or what has influenced or inspired you over the years? Um, and lots of people. My family, uh, great friends, wonderful experiences. I find myself r routinely inspired, like daily. Uh, whether I act on it every time or not is not, you know, uh, it comes and goes. But but um, lots of people have inspired me. Uh, mostly my my friends and my family and and uh, uh, yeah yeah. There you go. All right. Um, <laughs> Okay, I covered that. I'm back to here. Uh, from YouTube, Whisper Ocean says, Hi Richard, I got a question for your next anime. Uh, you mentioned once in your fourth Schmuck in a Car video that you don't get wine for your guests when you host parties. Well, I mean, I do sometimes, but I have to be reminded because I don't drink. Uh, so I was wondering, have any party guests actually bought their own alcoholic beverage? Yes, it happens very fairly frequently. It's a nice thing, a nice gesture to bring a bottle of wine to a dinner party if you're invited. Uh, and if so, has anyone ever gotten drunk? No. No, most people don't really like drink excessively around me, particularly if it's like our party, since, you know, since uh, we don't really uh, drink a lot. Um, I don't know what that means. Someone wants to shout out. Shout out. <laughs> Lindsay Watt asks, are you going to be at Anime North this year? No. Um, no. No one, no one's asked me. <laughs> Anonymous asked, uh, who or what inspired you to become a voice actor? It's one of those things I kind of fell into. You know, as an actor in town, you've got an agent, and you work, and you work, and you audition, and you audition, and things come, and things go, and some, some things work out, and some things don't. And I, you know, <clears throat> many years ago, 20 odd years ago, more than 20 years ago, I got a call to go out for a voice uh, audition. And I booked it, and I booked, uh, well, I didn't book my first one, but then I booked a, a show after that, um, called Bots Master, and did a couple voices on that. So from that point forward, I, you know, I kind of, did voice and did on camera stuff. So, and that's kind of, you know, where I am now. Um, so I love doing it. I absolutely love doing it, but there was nothing, I never left the house uh, any morning and went, right, this is my goal. I'm going to go and achieve that thing. But some people do, but you know, I just sort of fell into it. Anonymous asked, what's your favorite porn site? Um, wholesome girls with floor length skirts.com. It's my favorite one. Or Amish ankles. Dot. Co.uk. Um, <laughs> Anonymous says, are you going to dance in this video? Come on, I want to see you dance. At least do the Macarena. Please let me see you do the Macarena or at least the Hokey Pokey. No. Daka, daka, daka. <laughs> no. Uh, Anonymous asks, hi. When you hear someone say, okay, it's in, do you think they're referring to sex or something else? Well, obviously, I'm going to giggle, because normally it's okay, is it? it no, never mind, never mind. Never mind, okay. Uh, <laughs> and then the final question, Dan, on a positive note, is um, you're a voice actor and you teach acting. Do you also teach acting to disabled kids as well? And do they ever have a hard time memorizing lines or bringing out the emotion of the character or have a hard time getting into character? I, I've taught lots of kids over the years. Um, and I have definitely taught disabled kids over the years. I've taught kids who have social challenges. I've taught kids who, um, who need a little extra help in what we're doing. And, and it's great. You know, the thing about acting is that it's like a lot of arts, that it's, uh, it's a leveler, you know, because you're only ever going to be able to work to your own strengths and your own place uh, that you're coming from your experiences fuel the work that you do. And so if you're someone who's 70 years old and you're, you know, you're a Nobel Prize winning whatever you are, um, you're going to have a lot of experiences that should lend themselves to your work. And if you're, you know, a 12 year old person who has some challenges or some special needs, then you're going to have a whole host of experiences that are going to inform your work. Um, I think that I work, I'm lucky enough to work with a lot of amazing kids and, uh, and when those circumstances arise, I've always had the entire class be 
groups of people that are really supportive and helpful and caring. Uh, and, uh, and so, yeah, sometimes it, it does take a little bit longer for people to memorize their lines. Um, but then that's same for a lot of people. There are a lot, of, I'm lucky, I mean, I memorize things quickly. But there are a lot of people who are brilliant that have all kinds of trouble memorizing lines, but they're brilliant actors. Uh, you know, so um, that's something that's kind of universal. And like I said, it's, a, it's sort of a playing field leveler. So, so yes, I have certainly, um, and, uh, and I hope to have uh, more folks that, uh, that need a little extra help in, in my classes in the future. So those are the answers to your questions. Well, most of them. If I didn't answer your question, then I'll answer it on Tumblr. Uh, <laughs> and if they're more or less rude, then I'll, I'll answer them in type as opposed to on video. So um, uh, yeah, so thank you for, for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope we do another one of these real soon. I have no idea how long this has become. It's probably four and a half hours. So if you're still watching, then thanks. <laughs> we'll see you next time.